All right, it is, uh, all right, it's Sunday at 11.53 a.m. I haven't ate since Saturday at 5 p.m. This is hour 19 of my fast. The goal is to go a full three days, which is 72 hours, if my math is correct. I'm going to be vlogging this entire journey, and... And I'll let you know how it goes. My plan for this three-day fast is to only drink water. Uh, I'll put a little bit of lemon in my water, maybe a little bit of coffee. I'm going to do light workouts because I don't want to burn too many calories and really get too tired. But... Uh, <sighs> What am I going to gain from this three-day fast? I've heard that you gain a lot of mental and physical acute awareness. So what happens when you don't eat, your body starts to go into fight or flight response. Uh, it needs food. It's begging for food and it's not getting that food. So your other senses start to be more optimized. I've never fasted for three days. The longest fast I've done is a 24 hour fast as someone who does intermittent fasting quite regularly, uh, which is just not eating for 16 hours and eating within an eight hour window, give or take a couple hours. I don't have too much confidence going into this. It's not going to be easy. Today's father's day and my grandma's birthday. And we're having a big dinner at my house with all my family. So I'm going to have to sit around the dinner table while everyone's enjoying incredibly delicious meals and not partake. But I'm going to gain a lot from that because that's going to increase my self-discipline and my willpower. So the next reason why I'm fasting is to increase my spirituality type work. I've heard that when you're on an empty stomach and you are fasted, it's easier to drop into a meditation and becoming more in tune with the universe and with God becomes effortless. I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this probably think that sounds crazy. And if you were to ask me two years ago what I thought of that, I would think you were crazy as well. But on this spiritual journey of enlightenment and unlocking the law of attraction and understanding the way the universe works when it comes to energy and frequency. I've started to become more in tune with not only my mind and my body, but with exterior events that are going on in the world, whether it's at a new listing or increasing sales in my life coaching business or healing some physical injuries, deepening my relationships with people that I care about or just random events falling in line to my wants and desires and in, in my favor. So I plan on experiencing more of that. You can go on TED Talk, you can go on YouTube, and you can see a lot of people that are very, very passionate about the positive effects of fasting. Mental effects, physical effects, emotional effects. And you don't know what you don't know. And, you know, I can read and learn and watch and absorb all the knowledge I can possible. But if I don't apply it to my life, then it's almost wasted. Okay, it's Monday at 9.15 in the morning. This is officially 40 hours. Uh, I feel really good. I feel strong. I feel like I have high energy levels. Um, I went to the bathroom for the first time uh, this morning around 8.45 in the morning and it was one of the best poops I've had in a long time. I, I believe that it was one of the best poops I've had in a long time because my digestive system was given time, ample time, to really process and break down all the food that was in my gut. So now my, my stomach's pretty empty right now, right? So. 40 hours into the 72 hour fast, I feel great. Yesterday as I was riding my bike, after 
uh, having dinner with my family even though I did not eat, which by the way was very, very tough. I was sitting at the dinner table and everyone in my family was eating extremely delicious food. They were having steak, they were having macaroni and cheese, they were having a ton of incredibly delicious salad and Brussels sprouts, and then they had chocolate cake for dessert. So that wasn't easy, but uh, I have a lot more, I have a higher success rate for these three days because I'm making this video, right? Because I'm making this video, I now feel compelled to successfully do my three-day fast. I believe that if I wasn't doing this video and I was just doing a three-day fast, I didn't have anyone to be accountable to, like myself and my YouTube subscribers, then I probably wouldn't be as successful. But uh, dinner, it was tough, but it wasn't that tough to not eat. Uh, my bowel movements this morning were great. Um, and then yesterday, let me get back to what I was saying. My bike ride yesterday, I was riding my bike after dinner and the sun was setting on the lake and it was the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. It was the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. I could feel the wind blowing on my skin and I was listening to the sounds of the birds and this is what I meant by increasing my mental and physical acute awareness. I was more aware of the wind, I was more aware of the sunset, I was more aware of the beautiful scenery I was looking at, right? So when our body isn't constantly working to break down food and when our body is hungry, we get into this flight or fight response mode and our senses are increased, which is really cool. And it, now is this healthy? Yeah, there's a time and a place for it, right? You can't just not eat ever, obviously, duh. But um, my point is this, you know, I, I was not going to ever be able to experience that if I didn't do this. So I'm learning a lot from doing this fast. Uh, I haven't really hit a wall yet, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I, you know, it's Monday It's Monday at 9, 19 a.m. I haven't eaten since Saturday at 5 p.m. It's been 40 hours, haven't hit a wall yet. I've had one coffee, all black, and I've had one tea last night before I went to sleep. A, an organic chamomile type, go to sleep type tea. Uh, I've ha chewed a few pieces of gum, but besides that, I'm just chugging a ton of water. Um, but again, I feel great. I feel incredible. I have high energy levels. I feel super focused at work. You know, I'm about to write, I have, I have four blogs I need to finish that are gonna be published this week, and I'm working on my book, and I feel super focused to do that. Um, I'm gonna work out at some point today. I'm super slammed today with work, writing, life coach clients, um, and just some obligations this evening, but feel good, man. I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, it's uh, 11 a.m. and I'm starting to get really hungry. I'm starting to get hungry. I still feel good. I still feel really good. I'm just, I'm hungry. I've been thinking about eating. I've been thinking about eating. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get out of my house because I have food in my fridge. So I wanna create friction and make it harder for me to eat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. I'm gonna work out and then I might come home and eat. I don't think I need food. If I didn't have food, I would be okay. So I'm trying to be super conscious about, like, do I eat because my body like really needs me to eat or should I do this to do this for this YouTube video? It's not like I'm gonna pass out. It's not like I'm like dying, but I don't wanna get to the point where I'm gonna pass out, right? That would just be stupid. What should I do, what should I do? Uh, I'm gonna go get some coffee. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Okay, so it's uh, 3.30 p.m. and it's now 46 and a half hours since my last meal. 
about two or three hours ago, I was super hungry. I was thinking about breaking my fast, uh, but I decided I'm gonna leave the house. I'm gonna go get a coffee, drink some water. I did a light workout, a little bit of back, and then I swam 400 yards. Very, very small, easy, light workouts. Right now, I'm not hungry. Right now, I feel good. Yeah, like my stomach is kind of growling a little bit, but I feel fine. I feel, I feel good. I feel good. So I'm gonna keep it going. Um, I have to go, I just got off a life coaching call and now I have to go show a couple houses so I won't even be able to eat until 5 p.m. which will be a full 48 hours. Let's go, super proud of myself. Already, this process has been a huge success. I'm gonna try to go more. I think I can go the rest of the day without eating. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I feel good, I feel great. 46 and a half hours into this, no complaints. Okay, it's six o'clock on Monday. It's been 49 hours since the last time I ate. I feel fine. I have a little bit of a headache, but I get headaches often, so that's not something that I can directly correlate to not eating. Good energy levels. I feel like I could do something like powerful and requiring a lot of energy right now. But I want to eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So, oh, should I eat? Should I not eat? What should I do? I think I'm going to eat. I'll tell you why I'm going to eat. The goal was to do a 72 hour fast. This was very impulsive of me. It's not like I was planning this and you know, put a strategy together. You know, I probably shouldn't have planned it around Father's Day and my grandma's birthday because they had a big feast yesterday with cake and stuff and even though you know, even though like my point is this. I'm just gonna cut right to chase. I'm making progress in the right direction. I wanted to fast for an extended period of time because I wanted to feel the spirituality benefits, which I didn't really get to experience because I haven't really meditated too much over the last two days. So I definitely slacked on that. Um, but I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry. I've already pushed myself past my most recent boundary, past my most recent limit. And, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, as long as we're moving forward in the right direction, that's all that matters. And doing a 48 hour fast and accomplishing the longest fast of my entire life uh, is doing just that, moving forward in the right direction, learning, experiencing something new. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Uh, I'm gonna attribute this to a 49 hour, of, of, official 49 hour fast. Pretty good, pretty good. You know, if I was stuck in the jungle or if I was like trapped in a cave, which, oh my God, one of my biggest fears. If I was trapped in a cave, I could definitely last longer and stay alive. Uh, but I have fresh salmon on my dinner table right now that my mom just cooked. So, you know, and by the way, I don't live with my parents, but I spend a lot of time with my family because they live so close. So I think I'm gonna eat. And uh, this was definitely a successful fast. And uh, I plan on doing more in the future. I think my plan from here is just once a week, do a 24 hour fast. And then every single day, at least 16 hours minimum. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, hit the like. Editor's not gonna know which way to go with this one. Like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, comment, subscribe, link here.